Together, Nick and Penny Ray have six children and several successful business enterprises. This is one of them. Well, Nick, I suppose this weather is really beautiful. If you come from London. Yes, I'm afraid I'm rather used to this weather. <laughs> I was getting accustomed to the South African weather, but it's kind of a typical London day. A nice balmy <laughs> afternoon we're having. This property really is magnificent, though. I mean, how big is it all in all? It's uh, 220 hectares, and uh, of that, 70 of vineyard and uh, 20 of olive trees and five of lavender. Amazing. Mm, wonderful. How does an Englishman find himself just outside of Hermanus with such a big property? Basically, the family moved here 10 years ago and we actually purchased a house here three years ago. The estates got into financial problems, so I'm in the property business, so I bought out the estate. From a developer to a farmer, I bet you never expected that. No, not at all. The whole thing is uh, very new to me, <laughs> but uh, we're getting on with it. They distribute an allocation of the abundant wine and olive oil they farm to all residents on the estate, and with the number of the homeowners being from abroad, it's excellent marketing for South Africa. Penny is also a big fan of one of our best painters and sculptors, Lionel Smith. Wow, now you know, I really like to make an entrance, but today I have failed miserably. <laughs> this is incredible. Hello, Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you like it. We absolutely love it. Um, our objective, um, as you walked into the Manor House, was to create a total wow factor. And hopefully we've achieved that. So far, you are winning. We selected the artwork for the house. As you can see, we're huge fans of Lionel. And basically, the artwork here reflects the pictures, etc., that are here throughout the sort of main hall. The use of colour is amazing. The blue carpet to the Lionel, and then that incredible blue view. The brief to the carpet maker was simply create something that will complement this beautiful piece of artwork and I think they achieved that. Definitely. What is your favourite part of the entrance? My favourite is the lights. Um, I chose those in Dubai and had them shipped here and obviously put up. They're rather grand. And the first light to me takes your eyes to the second light, which is the same, and onto the lagoon. And obviously the lagoon is the feature of the house and the estate. And then you have your own Beethoven, obviously. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> this is our daughter Tilly. Hello, lovely to see you too, Antini. Wow, I'm guessing that this is your favourite part of the house, judging by your brilliant yeah. playing. Yeah, it is one of my favourite parts of the house because I love playing piano, but I also love that the house is, like, fits my family because I've got a lot of brothers and sisters and it's so close to the water. And apparently you're a really good sailor as well. Yeah, I really love sailing. The colours of the lagoon, mountains and natural fainboss are a neutral base for the animated interiors. Oh... Your home just has so much space. Well, you can see why it's the heart of our whole family. And having your family, like, lounge area into the dining, into the kitchen, I can imagine, I mean, this is really the centre of your house, literally. Absolutely. The kitchen itself, although amazing and big, isn't quite big enough for this house because this house in itself can sleep up to 28 people. And basically, as a result of that, we've now got a commercial kitchen, which predominantly is used by two of my children who are actually qualified chefs. So, as a family, the two children who are chefs get into the kitchen and generally all the rest of the family who think they're chefs all join in. So <laughs> I it's love chaos. that. And are you any good in the kitchen? I'm shocking in the kitchen. A woman after my own heart. We'll leave the kitchen to the chefs. We are more for entertaining and this is the perfect spot to do that. You're originally from Zimbabwe and then went to the UK. Why did you come back? I think like all South African Zimbabweans overseas, we all have a yearning to come home. So at the first opportunity, you know, I, I uprooted the family and brought them back to Africa. My family are all here now, so very, very happy and very settled. Nick is collecting winemaking books for good reading in the library. He's relatively new to farming and wants the wines from the estate to become the best in the country. This hard-working and driven entrepreneur is not one for half measures. Hello. Hi. <laughs> now, are you ready for your go at 20 questions? Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So now I've got to ask you, I've already heard her version of the story. Okay. What was it about your gorgeous wife that was able to lure you away from amazing London to sunny South Africa? She has lots of family in South Africa, so we came here on holiday. And she did sell it to me, but Cape Town sells itself. It's a wonderful place, and South Africa is a wonderful place. If you like the outdoor lifestyle, which I unfortunately discovered a little late here, uh, I'm a very keen sailor. I love dinghy sailing. I also like water skiing, water sports, particularly with the kids. Those activities are nine, ten months of a year. Where in England, you know, you've got a month or six weeks when the weather is, is good enough. So it's wonderful to be here. As you're talking, I can't actually help but be distracted by this gorgeous carpet. Was it also custom made to fit this room? This was custom made. In fact, uh, we were very impressed with the carpets and the carpet company. So I have actually purchased the company. <laughs> of course you bought the company. <laughs> which we're going to have in our commercial area. So I do a little bit more than developing. We are involved in, you know, other commercial activities. Now, walking down the stairs, I definitely think that my eye caught appears to resist dance of the house. There's a serious boy room in there. We've got a number of entertainment areas in the house. I think it's very important if you want all your kids and your grandchildren to visit you on a regular basis. I think, and from a personal point of view, it's nice to have attractive rooms, attractive features, entertainment things that we can do. So the house is very much focused around the family and entertainment and having fun here. Highly popular with the whole family, the gym, indoor pool and sauna are used all the time. Nick does his best to keep fit, doing triathlons, mountain biking and he's now moved to boxing training. But just walking up all these stairs every day should do the trick. This is the master bedroom, well one of the master bedrooms. We actually have two master bedrooms within the uh, manor house. So each wing of the house has bedrooms that complement the other side. So there's 14 bedrooms in total in this property and all of them are en suite. So what we try to bring into the room is lots of glamour. So you see the chandeliers, the projectors, so when you lie in bed you're not just watching a TV, you're actually watching in a movie room. Oh, that is great. And one of the great things is, is waking up to these views. You know, you've got the fish eagles coming past, you've got buck on the estate, you've got all sorts. And absolute privacy as well. Absolutely. As you can see, you can sit in the bath and you can watch TV, or you can just relax and have a glass of lovely Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> what is that bell? There's a bell ringing in the east wing. <laughs> That's our summons for some wine and some cheese. Ah, oh, fantastic. Given Nick's plans to build a top eatery just outside the estate, whilst upgrading a guest house on the garden route and refurbishing a restaurant in Somerset West, it's impressive the time this couple spend with their family. You've both done so exceptionally well in your lives. What is that recipe for success? Unfortunately, it's nothing very clever. I'm afraid it's uh, hard work and more hard work. There is a, a culture of not giving up and very few businesses are successful in the first instance. And I think it's the ability to fail and then pick yourself up and carry on. Penny, what is that motivation, I suppose, to keep on working so hard? It's definitely family. For us, and I think for every resident on the estate, it's about sharing everything with your family and being able to live in an environment where the whole family, from all ages, can actually have fun, be here and really live together. That actually is the spice of life for us. The children have every opportunity, but if they're anything like their parents, they'll also find new frontiers and make their own way.